crafty friends and creatives from around the globe. Welcome to Hither and Yon Studio. DJ here. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Hello to everyone who's new. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed. We're almost at 10K, guys. Don't forget to go um, to go and uh, enter the giveaway. Yeah, we're getting close. Okay. Um, I have a shop release video today. <laughs> My brain... My mouth is not catching up. Okay, so um, I just wanted to walk through some of the new things I made on the website and kind of show off what's there in case you haven't been there in a while. I do a shop release video every so often or if I have like a really interesting item that I added to the shop, I think they're all interesting, but hey, <laughs> that's me. I'm the creator, I am the artist. Okay, the first up, I have these wallpaper samples uh, packs and there's three packs. You can buy them individually. This is pack one. My, my thought here was I wanted to do what was reminiscent of vintage wallpaper because I love using those in my journal and journals and I would love to, you know, have a go-to set. Um, so that's what this is. Anyway, this is pack one and this white border is just from my printer. But uh, if you don't have a white border, yours will not print. And this is just printed on standard copy weight paper so I think it's like 20 pound, 92 bright. And I just get the Amazon basics. And I love, I love so many uses for this. Like the colors are, there's like a variety. You can use them in different types of journals. Um, you know, I just, and these patterns are all varying and intricate and there's a lot of grunginess in here that I hope is coming through on camera. So this is all of pack one and there's 12 pages in each pack. This one I love so much. Love them all, but that one just grabs you, doesn't it? Okay, this is pack two. This I like with the roses and the little flourishes in the background. This one definitely reminds me of vintage wallpaper. <laughs> those stripes and the birds. There's lots of birdies in here. This one's beautiful. This nice peachy color with some lace. More roses and like a sort of a Damascus masks. I don't know. Yellow roses. These are really pretty. I'm loving them all. <laughs> If I don't say so myself, they're very pretty. Oh, this one's cool too. It's got like tile in the background. Yep, I love them all. Some are darker, some are lighter, some are brighter. Lots of different accents. Love the lemons. Love them. Okay, that's pack two. Here's pack three. Damask, right? That's how you say it. This one's got a couple of those patterns in it. Isn't that gorgeous? That's very art deco. More roses, peaches. These are very versatile. You can use them for backgrounds, for pages, covers, pockets. Use them to build on. These make great inner pages for your journals, um, just as they are. But I do have a half fold set that is coming up next on deck, but just Look at that. And there's like little cracks in this one. Lots of goodness, lots of grunginess, a lot of pretty. And this one's like kind of a blown up version of the other one. So it's got like a watercolory feel. All right, there's that. And then these are the half fold. This is one set. So you get, um, you get all of these pages and then I've given you a couple of these neutral pages too if you purchase the kit so you can print on the other side if you like. So these are like side by side so you can half fold. Okay and you can definitely you know print one on one side and one on the other side but I like to put some neutral pages in my journal so that's that's what's what's what Here's, here's where they are. And then um, there's also a bigger background that you can use. 
So these are on um, copy weight. The first few were on cardstock. Again, these just have this on the back, but you can print, like I said, any way you want. And here's a couple more. So these are the same patterns that were in the full size pack, ready to go for half fold. I know a lot of you requested half fold, so I made them into their own pack. So that's that. All right, um, next up, we have Whimsical Cats. So this pack is a pack of accent pieces. So there's circles and squares. These are good for putting on cards, for making pockets out of, uh, to use to collage, to make journal covers. There's a lot of different uses for these. You can make hidden paper clips, dangles, all sorts of stuff. But look at these cuties. Are they not adorable? I think they're all so cute. I got these. Just checking my camera here. Okay. I think I was in frame for most of that. So you got those. You got these. So these are um, these are really big squares. So you got four of those. These are good for you can put on a card, like take a piece of cardstock and cut it into a card form and then just put this on top. And if you have sticker paper, you can print this on sticker paper because I do that a lot. And then you can just stick it onto a card, but gluing works fine too. And then you have these smaller ones, which um, you could collage them on a, on a journal page. You could use them um, on a tag to give it some life, so many different uses. So I just wanted to make them very versatile with a lot of cuties on there. And then you get all of these whimsical papers too. So. These are mainly to kind of use as backgrounds on your pages. They're not necessarily half fold, though you could use them that way. Um, I thought of them more as cutting them up and using the specific areas of these on your pages and or tearing them or cutting out some of the fun components. Cause look, look how many cute little birdies and bird houses. So, you get all of these with this pack. Very whimsical feel, which is why they're called Whimsy Cats. <laughs> and then we couldn't forget the dogs, right? I have a fur baby that is a dog, but I've owned cats as well. So I favor both, <laughs> but these are very cute. This one, how silly. So you get the same thing. You get the circles, you get the big squares. Hello, cutie. And then you get this strip, which is great, um, you know, on a cover, you could tear it, you could make it into, well, you can't really make this one into a belly band, but you could cut it in half and make two different pockets. So lots, lots of different things you can do with these. And then this set also has its own set of papers that you can tear apart, cut apart, use as covers. This would make a great cover. him with his little fire hydrant and his bone more bones <laughs> gotta have bones with the doggies this one I love it reminds me of when people do crochet and then they wrap it around trees or knitting or like some of the painting up at Woodstock okay um, I just wanted to, these I printed because I wanted to kind of show you the difference in paper so um, where's the first one hold on where is it so where are you? Okay, here. So this is copy weight paper. Okay, you can see it's it's still very very vivid color. There's a lot of beautiful co colors in here. This one is printed on a heavyweight cardstock. Well, not heavyweight. I guess it's like a a middleweight cardstock. This is my Nina cardstock. All of that is in the description box below. My cardstock. My copy weight paper. Um, I, I put all the Amazon links uh, there for you guys. They are affiliate links, so I do make a very tiny commission. Amazon doesn't pay much, but if you use my link, otherwise you can just go to Amazon and search Nina Cardstock. But this is the Nina Cardstock. It gets, it's, it's a slight difference, but you can see there is a slight difference. And then this one I printed on my sticker paper. And 
this uh, type of, it's, this has like a waterproof cover on it. So it prints up um, completely different. And you can see it's got a lot more brighter. That's why I like to use the sticker paper for the cards. The sticker paper, I think, is the one thing that might not be down. I'll try to remember to add it. Um, but I get mine from onlinelabels.com. Uh, and so, yeah, that's it, it, it just makes everything brighter. So, and if you have a bright, bright white, so white paper has brightnesses for anyone that doesn't know. And the higher the number, the more bright it is. It gives more vivid color. So I think this has got to be like at least a hundred gray. I think that is the highest number. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you that. This one, so that's, that's the whimsy. That's the whimsy and the little, um, your little paper tutorial, uh, what, teaching today. Okay. This one is the, uh, Scrappy Gypsies and, um, it is meant for half fold. So the pages are full sheets, but they're meant to half fold. So it's just like a collage background of lace and paper. And oh, I guess I must've printed on two sides. So I'll flip them and show you the second side. <laughs> And then this one and that. I guess they're upside down. Let me flip them. Let's go this way. So lots of lace and that kind of traveling gypsy feel. I don't know. That's what I was going for. Bohemian. Just kind of fun stuff to use in maybe a boho journal or a scrappy journal. And I kind of did it this muted color on purpose because I thought it would be fun to build on it with bright, vivid boho colors. So there's that one. So many fun. Well, this one looks like my printer was going bad. You see those streaks? That's from my printer, that's not from the kit. So uh, it must have needed an adjustment or just had a fluke moment. That's really weird because I printed these all together and oh, this one has it too. Okay, well, you guys can go on the website and look, you'll get a better view. It looks like my printer was maybe running out of ink at some point, that's okay. You can still get a gist of what they are and print them on your own printer. <laughs> okay. Last few here. Lots of fun, you know, kind of positioning and scrapbooky feel. Yeah, I have, had to align it. I know I aligned it at one point, but anyway. And there's the last one. Okay. So that is Scrappy Gypsies. This one is the um, for the mixed media watercolor pages, I, I did some, I think it's called mixed media spring or something or um, watercolor spring. I'll link all these below so you, you know which one you're going to, but this comes in a full size and I got a lot, a lot of requests for make it half fold. So that's what I did. So if you've already purchased this one, this is the half fold of those pages so that you can put them in journals this way. So... This is one and another mixed media floral watercolor. And this is the add-on pack. So um, I'm calling it an add-on because it's half full, but there's a pack of just full pieces and a bunch of ephemera. And so this one is half full and I gave you some extra ephemera as well. Then, then you can use them together. Ah, oh, these butterflies, I love them, love, love, love. This too, I love feathers. And these are the um, ephemera pieces that come with it, ephemera. You know, the bits you use to build on. You get journaling cards, so there's eight of those. You get this big envelope with this gorgeous dragonfly. A couple of little faux stamps there. And then you get these really tall tags. And the original kit uh, for Mixed Media Flora has a lot more. Uh, ephemera in it so you can use that for that as well okay and then this is library cards so this one 
is a set of um, library cards, wings, and things is what I've called this one. So it's just some library cards with some overlays, similar to that other set. They, they have like a watercolor feel. I That is my go-to. It's one, something I'd love to design with. So, um, and then you get a, a, a a couple of blanks so not this this does not come with the set so but you can print the other side with whatever paper you have so you've got some more of these and you've got some words and then I gave you a bunch of blanks here that you can use as well with your own stash okay so that's that and last up these are brand brand new these are the full she stickers so these i have um started to create full set stickers they're not a full letter size page they're nine and a half by seven and an eighth so they're like that and the reason that they're like that is because that's the way my scan and cut works on my silhouette so that, this is the side we get size we get but these are kiss cut stickers so they do peel around so they're there's not a lot there's a tiny little border on it just um, so that they were a little easier to peel up. They are a delicate rose set. There's a couple of different sets here, but this is called Roses and Peonies. And here you get six huge, so like, what is that? It's two or three inches um, of the roses and you get six of those. And then you get um, 20 of these smaller ones. Is this 20? Yeah, six times four is 24. <laughs> So there's 24 on this card, um, sheet rather, and in mixed in here you have some peonies. And so this is sheet two and this is sheet one. So you get two per pack. You get this page and this page per pack and I mail them out to you. This one is uh, has the similar second page because of the peonies, but here you get six big peonies. And look at the color on those. Is that gorgeous? I love it love it okay so you get these two sheets with your order it's a lot of stickers this is called dragon eggs i really don't have to explain why <laughs> but this is a set um, of two different sheets as well so you get both of these sheets in your order and i mail them out to you this one is called mushrooms shrooms actually is the official name and this one is also a set of two different uh, mushroom sheets. So you get all of these. And again, these are kiss cut, so that edge is right there. And even down to some of these fine pieces of, of grass. And I always recommend that when there's grass or something fine like that to pull up rather than pull down, right? So this is gonna be, you know, an edge that's easier to grab and you can just pull up and go slow because they're delicate and um, you want to get the whole picture on your design but these are fun you just peel them off and stick them on your project this one is uh, butterflies and moths so you get a lot of pretty moths and different colored butterflies and then some really bright and vivid butterflies these last two, you get two of the same sheet, okay? This one's called Bookish, and it's got a, a, a reader's theme with some pretty florals and butterflies. So this would actually go great if you're still doing the May mini journal because that was a bookish theme, and that's what inspired this set. So you get two of the same set uh, of stickers in that one. And then this one is called Oh Honey. And it's got beautiful honeybees and golden honey jars. And these stickers will fit on this jar. So you can just peel them off and put them on the jar if you'd like. There's another label up here. And then you've got some honey dippers and a whole lot of bees. And this one, you also get uh, two of the same kind. Okay. And um, I wanted to also let you know that the uh, January through June K 
kits, the free craft along kits that I gave out from January to June of this year. They're all bundled together now in one, one uh, product. So you can go, if you haven't ordered any of them in the past, you can go to the website and order them as a bundle. You'll actually save a little money. They're already priced incredibly uh, cheap <laughs> over there, but this will even give you a little more of a discount. So um, you can go over there and buy the whole bundle. And then also I'm starting to introduce print and ship so what that is going to be is all of the digital kits that are on the site like these, I'm going to offer in a print and ship. They'll be, I'll print them out, I'll mail them to you because I know a lot of you are saying that you don't have a printer or your printer is down or it's not a good printer or whatever. So I've been asked by a number of people to kind of do a print and ship version and it is only in the US, unfortunately, I'm sorry. The postage to send it around the globe is just, it, would be, it wouldn't be uh, fiscally, it wouldn't fiscally make sense <laughs> for me to do that. So um, unfortunately it is just in the US, but I'm introducing them slowly. So keep an eye if you're, if you're someone out there that's been looking for a print and ship version. They'll be printed with one side. Um, some of these that are like this kit, I will um, give you an option of adding the, a, a printed side that's, that's blank. Um, but mostly it's gonna be single-sided because uh, there would be a lot of logistics involved in trying to uh, tell you what's going to be printed, where, and so on. But like for the pa most of the papers, they'll uh, like the whimsy and the water, the wallpapers and things like that. It makes sense if I print them on one side, it's going to work. If it makes sense to kind of do a two-sided print, I'll I'll offer it. But there won't be a lot of options. In other words, you're not going to be able to pick like put this on page one and this on page two and so on and so forth. No, it'll probably just be where you'll have a printed side that has you know a design and then a printed side that is neutral. And that way you can still use them. You can still play with the kit, the pack rather, and then. Uh, if you don't have a printer. So yeah, so those are coming, they're gonna roll out slowly. So keep an eye out for those. And that is the shop release. Thanks for watching. And I hope you'll head over to the shop and check out what's new. I am adding new stuff all the time. And I'm gonna start introducing some uh, junk journal kits, some journal kits for beginners. So look for them coming up in the next couple of months. They're gonna be like a little kit with a journal and all the pieces to put inside. For I know a lot of you get intimidated in, uh, or you're just not comfortable kind of making your own sewn journal. So these will be a beginner's journal for you to start with. And uh, yeah, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if there's something that you might like to see in the shop, go ahead and listen in the comments below and let me know what you think of these. Just let me know. I'm interested to know. What do you think? All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video, I hope. Have a great rest of your day or night. Bye.